If you follow Lamont Doherty on Instagram, you may have heard us throw around the word seining here and there, but what exactly is seining? Well, it's not as complicated as it might seem at first. Take a look. Seining is a specific type of fishing that catches fish and other aquatic creatures, but instead of using a traditional fishing rod, it uses a net. This <laughs> net has floats on the top to help keep it vertical from the ground, and the net has I weights mean, on the bottom to help make sure that the net stays close to the ground and that no fish can escape by swimming underneath the net. The net we're carrying also has two poles so that one person can pull the net on each side. Many Native American tribes have used seining before to catch fish to eat. Indigenous seines were crafted through natural resources. They would use grass or fiber to create the webbing of the net and attach stones to act as weights. Floats were made by using cedar sticks. Before you start working with any nets, you want to prepare thoroughly for seining. First, you want to make sure to wear sunscreen, hats, and sunglasses to protect yourself from the sun since it will hit you directly and unfortunately, you may not get a lot of shade standing in the water. When we seine, we like to put on waders, which are waterproof boots and overalls that allow us to stay dry despite going into the water. Well, usually. Yeah, there's still a teeny chance that you can get wet, but it's best to wear clothes that you don't mind getting dirty or getting wet. You also want to bring buckets or small plastic containers and fill them with water and place them near the water you are seining in. This will be used to temporarily place the fish in before releasing them back into the water. Another important thing to bring is a bubbler, since this will help to bring more oxygen into the water and help make the fish feel less stressed and overwhelmed after being suddenly caught by a bunch of people. It's like how sometimes when we're stressed, we need to take a bit of a breather to help make us feel more relaxed. If you're seining to sample fish or for scientific purposes, you might want to bring measuring tools like a metric ruler to be able to measure the size of the fish that you caught. And if you're not a supreme expert in identifying fish species, you also might want to bring a dichotomous key. This data is nice to keep track of to help us understand what type of fish are entering this particular area of the water that we're near. A good way to record this data is to bring a whiteboard. How beautiful the water is. Here we are, getting ready to sing. Just getting the net right, getting the net right. Feel me, getting the net right. Getting the net right. Just want to make sure that we have everything the way it should be. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Pulling it right. That reminds me, I gotta get my bug spray. First, you want to gather your crew or your squad and unravel the net. Make sure that the net is fully prepared to go into the water. Then you want to carry the net to the location that you want to start seining in. It would be best to pick an area that wouldn't be too rocky so that no one would trip and fall and so that the net wouldn't get caught on rocks. Then you want someone to enter the water and start walking towards the deep end. This person should be tall so that they can pull the seine without drowning and also so that you can access a more deeper area. When you get the net fully submerged into water, then you would drag the pole and make sure that it drags on the ground so that no fish can escape. You want to use two hands and angle the pole so that the top half is tipped behind you and the bottom half is going towards the direction that you want to walk. When you say, you want to make sure that you're walking the same speed as your partner. So some of you guys want to come around in the front and help with pull the net in? Oh my goodness. Some stuff. Okay. We've got some stuff. There you go. You can see little things flapping. Okay. 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 Get it, get it, get it. Oh, After crap, you finish crap. seining, you want to immediately wet your hands and place all the fish from the net into a bucket. And then you're pretty much done. Now you may be thinking, why would I catch fish with a net instead of with a traditional fishing rod? Wouldn't the net just get caught? Well... So our net is stuck. Oh, on that side too? Oh! Okay, wait. Okay. You might be getting some rocks. Oh. Can you move? Oh, we found the culprit. Oh, no. 
Okay, go. Good job, guys. Yay. Yeah, the net can definitely be caught sometimes, but that's why you usually have one person or a couple people standing at the back of the net to make sure that the net isn't caught on anything or to release the net after it's been caught by rocks. And unlike fishing with a fishing rod, sanding also allows you to catch other aquatic animals other than fish. Like this little shrimp. I don't know about you, but I definitely have never caught a shrimp on a fishing rod. One reason to sane is to collect fish samples, and we do this to observe what fish live in a particular area or can be found during a specific season. Other reasons we would do this is to see if any changes over time have occurred with fish populations, or if any changes to an environment have occurred, and we would want to see how that would affect fish and fish populations. Because nature is a system that influences each other, fish samples can tell us about the environment. One example is that if we caught a lot of young of the year, we can make an inference that the dissolved yeah. oxygen levels like, are at an like ideal that's, range, that's okay. which would be from 5 to 11 parts per million. Still, it would probably be best to confirm this assumption with a DO test. Other reasons why we would sane is simply because it's fun. So if you want to learn more or partake in a sane yourself, go to the Piermont Pier and join us on a Science Saturday. This video was created by Lamont Doherty, summer interns Sarah Gale, and Caitlin. You can also find more information on our website. We hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!